Hey guys, and welcome to the first speed paint of 2020. Um, you're probably surprised that I'm making another video for this channel again, and it isn't something that's going to be vlog related. I mentioned in my recent vlog, I'll link it somewhere, that I decided to split vlogs and the art channel again. I was debating on merging the two channels together so I didn't have to keep working on two separate accounts, but based on the responses to having vlogs on this account, I decided to completely change my mind and scrap that entire idea. So now, if you guys are interested in watching studio vlogs, they'll be held completely separate from this art channel. I did a lot of reflecting before the year ended, and I decided that I want to approach this channel a little bit more differently. Um, I'm going to go back to doing some speed paints. Uh, not too sure about tutorials because I'm... I don't think I'm very qualified to be doing tutorials. I don't have any processes and all that stuff. But I can do some, I guess, I'm not entirely sure what kind of uh, content I want to bring into this new channel that you guys would be interested in, aside from doing merch reviews and possibly some speed paints. Uh, maybe some art rants where I do talk and draw at the same time. I might be doing that in this channel, depending on the topic. And I think I'm going to try my best to be more active with the YouTube art YouTube community scene so I can keep track of what's the current conversations and without getting too ranty, I guess. So that's one of my few plans. I am going to be redoing some of the videos that I have posted up here. For example, the Arteza review. I am probably going to retackle that and do a proper one once I get an understanding of the medium and probably include some more traditional art videos as well. That is mostly for myself so I can... I kind of... I've been missing traditional art to be honest. Uh, I've been trying to fill out sketchbooks but I've been completely rusty and I've been too reliant on my tablets and my iPad. Not that it's bad but I just... All of my traditional art supplies are kind of collecting dust right now and I kind of miss playing around with them. So to get back real quick to the art, uh, this was a Twitter trend called Tune Me. I thought it was gonna uh, one of those like tune, train, take a photo and make yourself into a cartoon type thing, but I realized it was artists taking photos of themselves and then drawing on top of it. When I posted it on my Instagram, a bunch of people were asking, how do you do this? Uh, this is it. I pretty much put a photo or a selfie of myself at the very bottom layer, changed the opacity, and then sketched on top of it how I normally do my illustrative process. And then I would turn off the photo layer and then do the line art on top of the sketch layer. And then I merged all the... I separated... Or I made a separate layer where I merged all the layers so that way I can do the fill option and color all the base colors easily. And then I deleted that and made and then kept the separate layers so that way I don't know how to explain it. Basically, I merged all the layers together so that way I could do the select tool easily. And then I deleted that so that way um, I can keep the white line consistent and edit that without ruining the line art beneath it. So, like you'll see right here, I pretty much merged everything so that I could use the fill tool, which is so handy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy when you do the fill tool without turning off the photo layer because you see everything, but it was it's always been a handy tool to fill out the base colors in a much faster way. Um, definitely looking back, I did improve a lot with my art. I was... I did post a art kind of like digital art tour view sketchbook thing but I wasn't too happy with how I decided to record it so I deleted that some of you might have seen it but I decided to scrap it and I think when I approach that video again I am gonna have a camera so that way it could have like the reaction part with it you know I think that would make it more interesting to watch especially with the reaction aspect instead of just staring at a blank screen 
or staring at a screen watching me go through a screen capture of all my digital art. So I think it'd be more interactive that way, just like how they do traditional sketchbook tours. So enough rambling. Um, basically, one of my goals that I'm trying to achieve this year is creating more content on this channel again. I was discouraged from creating videos ever again after losing my partnership. And it did kind of burn me out whenever I didn't see any growth. So I'm going to try to focus on the fun aspect of creating videos again. I do miss creating videos and kind of capturing my process and growth as an artist. So I think this would be a more fun way to do that all over again. That's not to say I won't be discouraged by watching uh, the following count or the view count or anything like that. Um, but more so just trying to find a way to be excited about creating videos again. Um, one of the other things I'm going to be doing is also making it more interactive as well, like responding to comments, any questions you guys had or have, and just making it an enjoyable space to share my art and my growth all over again. I really do miss creating YouTube videos, but I was, like I stated earlier, I was just caught up with um, discouragement from losing partnership, my partnership. I will be trying for one video a week every Saturday at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. So you guys can look forward to that one. And on my vlog channel, I'll be uploading one video or one video twice a month on that since it's going to be a studio type process um, with that new channel or with the other channel that I'll be linking in the description along with the end card. It's going to be focusing on um, behind the scenes, artist alley stuff, merch making stuff, as well as a hint of my own personal life because I do want to also document my own personal transition with being an artist and, you know, kind of like taking a personal challenge. I am very terrified about doing the artist path and scared that it won't work out for me but I do have you know the history of this channel to look back on and my own growth and my own progress to look back on I just need to find my footing again after everything that's happened within the last two years so I hope you guys decide to stick with my journey and you know check out that vlog channel that's going to be there there are a little bit longer videos a little bit more calmer tone a little more I guess something that you can play in the background while this one is just going to be faster speed paints, uh, drawings, reviews, and all that stuff right here. So if you're interested in, you know, just the beginning parts of being an artist and learning along and growing alongside me, then stay tuned. I'm going to be posting as much as I can. And I don't know, I'm actually pretty excited to be doing this all over again. Thank you so much for watching. This is the finished piece right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.